Hey everybody, welcome to Kim's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Talk To Me. It's supposed to be a scary movie, right? Um, it's about a group of friends who discover how to conjure spirits using an ablamed hand. Uh, embalmed. <laughs> embalmed. Okay, that's it. <laughs> embalmed. They all look different when I looked at it the first time. Anyway, they become hooked on a new thrill until one of them goes too far and unleashes terrifying supernatural forces. I don't know. Um, 7.4 on IMDb. 35,151 people rated it so far. So, horror, thriller. It's only an hour and 30 minutes long. I've heard some things about this. That it's really scary. It's really good. Um, and there's nobody in it I know. So, um, I'm, I'm interested in it, but I wasn't expecting to watch it tonight, but it just came out. So, we're going to do it. So, I'll tell you what I think. That's the best I can do. Stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Talk To Me, and I'm struggling on how to review this film, honestly. Um, part of me really wants to really like it. I think there's some good to it. Not that it was all bad, but for some reason, I don't. Um, I don't hate it. Don't get me wrong. The acting in it, Really good. Again, not knowing any of these people. Um, really, I think the mother I recognized. Um, the, the, whatever. Um, but, that was it. Everybody else I didn't know. And, uh, well, actually, I'm sorry. One of the kids, um, I did know from Surviving Summer. That's how, yeah, that's a show on Netflix the kids watch. And I, I saw the one guy in there. Anyway, the Hawaiian guy. I believe he's Hawaiian. Probably Australian, because that's where they go. He looks Hawaiian, but I think he's Australian. Anywho, um, I knew him, but I thought that was really good. I thought the, the acting in it kept me interested. The plot line somewhat kept me interested in the, in the beginning, but then I, I don't feel like it, it, it either kept me, kept my attention, or if it went in too many different directions, or, you know, I don't know. So the idea is that they have this hand, right, and they say, you know, uh, talk to me and then they let them in but it's like and they do it for 90 seconds and then you know this this like they're basically spirits are coming in they see them and then i think they take them over and then they let them go and if you go longer than 90 seconds of course and bad things can happen maybe they stay in there whatever so they start playing this game and, and they do it every now and again it starts off with a bang let me start there the the actual movie starts off with a bang with you know Kind of like, almost like the ring, had that started off. Very similar fashion than that, that, that uh, reminded me of that. I, I know there's another one, but anyway, starts off quickly, and then you get to the new group of kids who have the hand and starts playing this um, seance game, if you will. Um, they didn't call it that, I'm calling it that. Um, you know, and there's some, some plot lines. Our main character, uh, his mother has... Uh, recently died and she's friends with another family with a you know, girl her age and a younger brother and that mother. That's the mother I'm talking about that I kind of recognize. Um, you know, and I won't go into too much detail because I think you want to learn more about it. It's only an hour and 30 odd minutes so, you know, I, I don't want to give too much away. Maybe we're not going to watch it at all. Um, I'll just tell you, you know, what I thought. Like, I, I didn't feel like it it went anywhere that surprised me, I guess. Um, you know, I think there was a lot of um, good intentions there, and there were some pieces there, um, especially when they're doing the hand kind of stuff, the seances, that was really interesting. But as they, as they moved in between those scenes, I don't know, it, it felt, I don't know, I, it, it lost my interest, I guess. And I get it, they're trying to develop, and, and, you know, I always like development on characters, and that's what they were trying to do. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of in between there. I don't know what I could have done better. I'm not saying I could have. But the bottom line is, so you're, you're watching this, you're seeing what's going on. Well, let me step back. Before the bottom line, the scary pieces of this, right? So it's a horror um, and thriller. I think the horror is more around the... the grossness of it, you know what I mean? Like, there's some, you know, some horrifying scenes of, yeah, bad, people who, who have, uh, look already dead, they see that. People who try and hurt themselves, 
you see very graphic, graphic is the word, graphic and gross kind of thing, that much. It's not like I'm not afraid to go up in my kitchen now, that kind of scary or anything along those lines. That's sometimes, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I don't, yeah, I don't feel that. I, I don't have those kind of, you know, I'm not, there was not a lot of jump scare here and there, maybe one or two. Um, and I, again, I don't have that, uh, I don't know what's hiding in my closet kind of fear right now, which we do with some of the other ones. Um, so it's more about visually seeing stuff um, immediately and, and that grossing you out. That's the, I wanted to catch you up there just so that you know going into it. Um, and the bottom line, which I was going to get to, was, you know, you're coming to the end and I felt it was like really quick. You know, although they spent this other time kind of developing where we're going, it felt fast or rushed at the end. And I wasn't committed. I didn't care. You know, it was just like, you, you can see, when you, when, if you decide to watch it, you'll see exactly the point where I'm like, okay, I guess. <laughs> you know? Um, I don't know. There was just something missing from this to, to put it all together and make me invested in watching it and i just don't feel like i was invested not that i wasn't interested in watching the film i was i was i wanted i want them to do the work and that didn't happen i don't know why but uh I, again the acting was great and there's a lot of great to it i'm just telling you what i what i'm saying <laughs> so i don't know We'll see. That's what I got for you. Um, I don't know if I was helpful at all. Yeah, if you're into scary movies, if you liked the smile, not the smile, smile, the movie smile, you know, I, I, it kind of feels a little bit like that to me. Um, not barbarian. Uh, I think that was kind of a different type of scary. But I mean, if you're watching that and you watch Smile, you're gonna watch this. So. Uh, don't want to deter you from watching it. I think it's worth watching. There is a lot of good to it, especially the acting. Um, but I don't know. Something didn't didn't take me over. All right, that's all I got for you. I don't know if I was helping. Oh, Miranda Otto was the mother. I thought I recognized. That's it. I've I've blabbered on enough. Hopefully, I was helpful. Thanks for tuning in, Camel's Irish Pub. Thank <laughs> you.